Okay, so question number three is about Steve driving home from work, home to work using the M1, and he drives home using the A64. So he goes via the M1, comes back via the A64, and the A64 is 10 miles longer. So we've got the mileage on his car, so we can work out how many miles total he did uh, on on that day. So it's 3, 3, 2, 1, 0, oh, subtract 3, 2, 9, 70. Well, it doesn't matter how you do this calculation, as long as you do do this calculation. 0, take away 0, so you can't do 1, take away 7. Oops. So borrow 1. So it's 11, so it's 4. 1, take away 9, you can't do, so let's borrow 1, 2, 11. 11, take away 9 is 2. This goes to 2, 0, 0. Okay? So it's 240. So 240 miles total. So it's two trips taking 240 miles, but it's not 120 miles each way. Now you can't do that. So because it's not the same distance, one's longer than the other, but we can use it to help us. So if we divide it by 2, we're going to get 120 miles. Now we know that that's not the final answer. We know they're not 120 each because one's 10 longer than the other. Problem is we can't take 10 off and add 10 on because otherwise you would get 110 and 130 and that doesn't work. Although they add up to 240, they're 20 miles apart. So you can't take off you can't take off 10 from each or 10 and add. It's got to be 5 and 5. So actually it's using the uh, A60, using the M1 it's got to be 115, and using A64, it's got to be 125. Now, adding those two up does give us to the 240, and um, but they're also 10 miles apart, which is exactly what we want. So the M1 is the 115 miles that we want. Okay.